fuck, my, my hair is so long. Quarantine hair, like it's, it's mess. I can't even see the camera through the quarantine hair. Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to get the angle right. I think that's, I think that's good. Okay, we've got a couple packages. These are gonna be some of the last unboxings in this apartment. As you've seen, I don't know when this unboxing is coming out. It's probably coming out around the time the move is happening, because again, I'm, I'm not asking companies to ship me anything anymore because uh, I won't be here. So these are definitely among the last. Look at, I don't, the, the girls are gone. Now you're gonna be able to tell if any of these unboxings are after this date, which is the 21st of July. July. Because the girls are all missing, except for the ones on the amps. The ones on the amps are the last to go. Or the one in the shower is the last to go, I haven't decided. Anyway, let's, let's pop some box. Uh, I'm probably taking this table with me though, so we might be able to actually get some tradition. Like if I just have this put in the basement, because I mean my kitchen's lovely in the new home, it's fucking lovely. I don't need, like, do, do you see this space? Like would you count this, the new kitchen is like 20 by 25 feet. Think about how many more dirty <laughs> dishes. <laughs> it's got two dishwashers, one's broken. So I mean that's, oh my god they arrived. I, th I think I messaged Amazon and say, hey, these never fucking showed up, assholes. These, I don't know if they were, they might be genuine. Let's, these um, were, I just saw them on Amazon one day. These were claimed to be the pad replacements. There's no waifus in here either. Like, we're devoid of waifu. This is fucking weird. Like, I, oh, thank God. Let me just stare at that. AKGs, nice. These are for these, the ARs, but I don't know if they are replacements or they said they were official. Nope, they're definitely not official because that's how that comes out. Did I know that? Did I know how that's how that came out? I think it did. So this is what's on the, these, by the way, are the AR H ones and they're some of my favorite planners and these are supposed to be replacement pads for them. You know what? I don't care that they're not because here's the thing like you'd have to basically cut out this thing these are definitely thicker these are the new ones here definitely thicker definitely different material very soft and like i don't even know pasta's got to go in my order history to find it took for fuck like two months like i thought they were gone like other they were just i mean maybe that's just china but i mean and i don't like look does this will actually fit into an actual round i gotta listen to these again do I have an excuse to listen to these? I don't know which way is down. Oh, arrow down. Okay, we're good. I need excuses to listen to some headphones sometimes because it's just like well, that's not part of the part of the regimen, Z. There we go. Yeah, these are some extremely nice headphones. And I was like, I better get extra pads while I found them. And these are definitely not the pads, but they look like they'll fit on other things. And I'm I don't hate square. Ain't nothing wrong with. Oscar sort of Langley ain't nothing wrong with being square um, So that's nice. Let's throw those away um, What are you are you masks you might be masks from Etsy? Yep, I think these are Etsy masks and this is the same um, one that What's the order pasta you're gonna have to go to Etsy and uh, look up There, just scan that barcode pasta with your Canadian eye vision. It does that sort of stuff. Uh, oh, whatever. She'll figure it out or I'll get her the link. Pasta just asked me for the link. Actually, it, the, the Morton Joe one is the same seller, so it's probably there. I'll throw this away. I'm going to throw this away. Um, see, I bought, when I started buying masks, I bought like one. I'm like, all right, I'll need to wear a mask for a couple weeks. And then I bought better ones, and then I bought better ones, and then I found the one I really like, and I realized, oh shit, we were all gonna have to wear masks for like the next couple years. This shit ain't going away in another two months. This is gonna be like, like, it's a while. And this was the best ones that I found because they fit my giant fucking face with my beard. And it comes with these little filter add-ons because, and of course I got another V for Vendetta one, and they, look how big it is. This is like nine by five. That's a, a male human face is big. And this is my V for Vendetta one. That's my Immortan Joe one. 
And here is one that is like, just cute little whatever the fuck dog. It's cute. This is like my go in public and I don't look like a weirdo one. I mean, I kind of will still look like a weirdo. But it's less weirdo than like, oh, V for Vendetta. That one's just cool. The Morton Joe one is cool. But I actually was like conducting business with the weird Morton Joe one. Because it's just, it just, here look. Look at the inside. The inside is this like perforated fabric. So this is against your face. And then inside here is the pocket. So you can install filters inside here. These are real small compared to the overall. But you could just take, an, you could take an, an, an N95 mask and cut it out and just put it in there if you really wanted to be psycho about it. Um, I let these sit out for a bit. But yeah, that one's nice and that one's real nice quality, like real nice quality. These are like 14 bucks a pop. But I mean, like we said, this is now becoming an instant fashion accessory. My, uh, my insurance guy's got one made out of denon, denim, denim, not denon, that'd be weird. So, this is a really nice envelope filled with cat food. And I wish I got the other food, not this one, but I mean, that's it's cat food. I just keep, t I told Amazon, just suck it, send me cat food as often as possible. Chewbacca's hungry, because she, she doesn't eat at all, she likes the broth, and she was sick, and you were sick. <sighs> Why is my nose? My mustache needs to be trimmed or something. Yay, cocaine! Cocaña! Cocaña! Oh, the America. Tip it is net. What is this? I've been telling every company sending me things like, look, it's gonna be like a while. I made like 50 days worth of content between sound demos and reviews, which I have to do, and and things not for this channel, things for the main channel, because I can't have like 50 days of me not being able to work. There's gonna be just days of not being able to work. Oh, this is a new D10S. So, topping D10 DAC. Uh, I actually, I was gonna ask for the silver and I didn't. I just assumed they would send me whatever. If you don't know what the topping D10 is, here's just a USB cable. Topping D10 is this, it's slightly different. And there's been a couple knockoff D10s on Amazon. And so no one's been buying it. But now there's a D10S by topping itself. 32-bit, 384, USB DAC. And this is one, I have one of these literally running on my computer desk. This has that big display. And this is one of the only units that is USB in only. Fiber optic and coaxial digital out, so it's a converter or line out. And actually, let me show you how it works on my desk. Just keep going this room. You good, Chewbacca? Good. So the way this works on my desk, I have one down here, the black one. That has the RCA outputs. Another fucking wow, RCA outputs of that because it sits there running all the time. The screen looks about the same. It sits there running all the time, and the RCA outputs of that go to my Swan speakers that sit back here. So I can just then use on and off, and that's forever. Then the fiber optic out of it goes down under my desk to a bit of splitter. And then the fiber optic either goes up to this um, Aquila 2, or I have an extra one hanging out on the floor, or I have another fiber optic that runs in here and comes all the way over here. And this is the one that I use when I'm live streaming. I hook up the headphone sender to that. So this basically acts as a control bridge. So either DAX the speakers, which is fucking plenty. On the old one, it was like, it's really a good DAC. And you know, I'm using it for speakers behind a monitor. You really, the quality doesn't matter. But hopefully this one will be actually like, I think it's a hundred bucks. So the DAC itself is going to be good, and the fact that it can convert USB to fiber optic or, opt or coaxial means you can jump it to other DACs and other things. Um, I actually bought a cheap one, I think. A cheap converter that is like 30 bucks that just does USB to coax. Like something like this would allow you to use uh, Gashelli Labs DAC because they don't come at USB because the guy who makes Gashelli Labs stuff Designed USB standards hates it. That's like when you get your baby and you're like, fuck that thing. Fuck that baby. 
stupid fucking fuck. So, um, yeah, no, there might never be a Shelly Labs DAC that's USB. And that's a $100 option, but I think I ordered a cheaper, like, $30 option that would do the same job. What are you? Ah, so here's a weird story. I'll open this real quick. It's the last thing. Uh, come out. There we go. I ordered one of these. Someone said, hey, Zeos, what are you going to review the Soundavo HP DAC 1? And I'm like, the what? And I looked, and it was like a, a relatively cheap $130 combo DAC amp, and it had a lot of real hard reviews on Amazon. And I'm like, all right, this is what the Patreon money is for. Click buy. And it wasn't a prime shift. It was like five or six days into the like, free shipping. And I'm waiting for it, and I'm waiting for it, and it's like, shipped. And I'm like, okay, cool. And I'm waiting for it. It's like, canceled. Your order's been canceled, and you've been refunded. And I'm like, why? And that day, I get an email from Sandavo. It's like, hey, we are this company, and we make this. And I'm like, what? So they canceled my $130 order, and then the company contacted, like, I don't know what the coincidence levels are on that. Someone could do the math. But it seems really, like, like, like who's, did they cancel it? Did they, like, oh, we can't give ZS one of those shit ones. Like, how would they know it was me ordering it? Because it's just an Amazon warehouse. Like, I don't, you, you follow me? You follow the weirdness of that? Like, what are the odds that the comp, like, that day the company would message me? We've got a power brick, which is very poorly wrapped. Golden Profit Electronics Limited. 15 volts, 400 milliwatts, 6 watts, 400 milliamps, 6 watts. 15 volt is very popular. Um, I have a couple things that are 15 volt. I think that's DC though. Does it say? Does not say if it's AC or DC outputting. It's a switching mode power supply. Wow, this is really built nicely. I can tell through the packaging it's built nicely. I was not expecting this to be metal, honestly. That is a... Holy shit, I haven't seen one of those in forever. So we've got a clicky... These are all clear buttons. Like they're clear acrylic, so they're definitely going to glow. The power button is a is an analog, and then you get to choose line in, USB, or SPDIF. And it's one of those ones that pops the other ones out. Dude, I haven't seen one of those in fucking forever. 32 to 600 ohm headphone out. Big old volume knob. It's a little bit too easy to turn. Like That's the one thing I like is when you go to turn it, it's like... But this is like... Doesn't look bad. A couple of minor scratches on it. There's fucking giant rubber feet. So we've got... Oh, speak of the devil. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. We've got USB in. We've got SPDIF in. We've got SPDIF fiber optic out. Power in. Line in. Output. And here's your gain switch back here. It says rec gain. Record gain? That's weird. Got a, It's actually got a weird... This button sticks out a little bit too far. I feel like I'm going to break it. That, I, so we've got, oh, that's, this is interesting. This is really like, this is a nice thing. I like how the lip sticks up like more than it needs to. It gives it a nice look. Either they fucked up the design and it should only stick up that much or they did that on purpose for reasons. It could be some knurling on the knob. It could be harder to turn, but I mean, as long as it's a quality pot, I don't care. Let me get to click. And you can like pop out all of them if you do two at the same time. Oh, it's got a clip indicator. I didn't even realize that. That's what well, this. There's some. There's some interesting things happening here. And now, since I'm moving, um, well, I need this, but I don't need that, and I probably won't need this, but I'll put it in here anyway. So yeah, that's. This was today's. Pasta's is gonna yell at me. It's probably like 15 and a half minutes long. I'm like Zeus, you gotta broke with that in the two fucking, fucking reviews. You fuck. We're running out of videos in this channel. I'll do more videos. Um, if she releases this. Probably will be soon. I only have a handful left. But um, what kind of videos would you like to see on this channel? Like, go back in this channel's history. Here's my homework assignment for everyone watching. You've made it this far into the video. You're obviously the true fans of Z reviews and Z, Z unboxings and everything. Go back in this channel. Like, sort the channel by oldest. Like, there's going to be, I think, R Factor videos. Like, my first thing. Definitely a ton of Gary's mod. Like, what do you want to see me fill this channel with? 
because I need to do some like quick just 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 content. There just needs to be content available so this channel can keep up its its growth. Because growth on YouTube is a stupid thing that I have to fucking like milk it like the udders of a cow. You can't walk away from the cow. You got to constantly squeeze that udder. As soon as you let go, the udders turn to cheese and it's very hard to milk them back again. So you got to constantly have videos coming out. So what do you guys want to see? Like what like I'm already doing the moving like vlogs like every few days. I don't want to actually pack things on camera because I do it real slow and methodical. And I don't want to, I really don't want to talk through it. I want to have music playing. I want to just be myself, like be, be in my own head for packing. But like, what else would you guys like to see? Like cooking videos and stuff. I have a cooking channel. I mean, I, cleaning, I don't know. I don't know. I'm literally a blank. Usually whatever's on my mind or happening in my life is what I make videos on. And this is, uh, I'm moving. So I need to be able to like make vi like like what I'm doing with the reviews where I sit down and just review my own reviews to say if things are still relevant. That's easy content, fills a day, great. What could I do like that here? Tell me, because I mean, I have, as long as I put a camera in my head and I have a laptop to upload to the internet, we can make content together, folks. And as long as Pasta can link things on Amazon, even if it's like weird sex toys. P's secret link, by the way, in the description, probably gonna be something I'm not gonna even say. Anyway, I'm done. I'm exhausted. What time is it? 1.30 a.m. Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to bed. Night.